Hello, and welcome to RealPAR's Intermediate PLC course, CodeSys Programming Sequencers. This course is part of our CodeSys series, a series of courses packed with practical hands-on lessons about PLC programming using CodeSys. You can find the rest of the courses in the CodeSys series by searching for CodeSys on your RealPAR's dashboard. All of the courses in this series are included in your RealPAR's membership. In this course, you will learn how to write a basic sequencer using the ladder diagram programming language. A sequencer is a piece of software that manages the execution of a sequential process. The main function of a sequencer is to keep track of the current step being executed in a sequential process and to transition to the next step when a step is complete. You will encounter sequencers very often in your career as a PLC programmer. So it's important that you learn how to design, program, and test sequencers. Lucky for you, that is exactly what we will cover in this course. In this course, you will design, program, and test a sequencer to control a semi-automated process that fills and discharges a tank. Along the way, you will get a brief introduction to user-defined data types called DUTs in CodeSys and learn best practices for implementing sequencers. By the end of the course, you will be comfortable with creating simple PLC programs to control sequential processes on your own, and be ready to take more advanced programming courses about other aspects of CodeSys, like writing programs using the structured text, function block diagram, and sequential function chart programming languages. Upon completion of the course, you will receive a certificate from RealPars. This is an intermediate course, which means that you should have some programming experience before following this course. If you are a complete beginner, then I strongly recommend that you follow our beginner CodeSys courses before this one. In CodeSys 1, Introduction to PLC Programming, you can learn the basics of writing and testing applications in CodeSys using the built-in PLC simulator and a CodeSys compatible PLC. Following that course will give you the foundational knowledge that you need to follow this one. Now that we have an overview of the course, let's take a closer look at the course curriculum and what exactly we will learn in CodeSys, Programming Sequencers. We'll do that in the next lesson.